um so welcome back to my channel today we're gonna learn something like uh, part so let's add a part here we're gonna learn about vector forces by the way so yeah so let's say we got this interesting cool looking part uh that's interesting i think so okay yeah this is interesting so how do we get a part so I mean, how do we get vector forces, sorry. So, you want to be at home, click on model, and then you'll see this thing. It look, it might have something else, like have a different shape on here or a different image, but click on it and then you'll see a vector force. You want to select vector force. When you select vector force, you realize you uh, have this attachment or this arrow thingy, yeah, with a ball on it. This is uh, the attachment. It's also where the vector force will point at. So you see that where this arrow is, this yellow arrow, where it's pointing at, this is the direction of the vector force. When we click on any part or any surface, it will create the vector force. Go to constraint details and you will see where the uh, vector force is. So this blue thing right here is where the vector force is gonna be. So right now it's pointing, um, it's pointing at this direction. So, um, yeah, we can also, um, if we go to the pot and then see its children, like you can go to the properties of vector force and you can change the properties. This to apply at the center of the uh, object. And for force, you can, uh, Change wherever you want the force to be. You can also change the direction. If I click on 1000, uh, it's going to look at this direction. It's just going to change. We can also change uh, where the uh, the relative to. So this is going to be relative to world if we select it to relative to world. Basically, what that means is no matter how no matter how much this part has been rotated, it will always point at the, that direction. Which is pretty useful in some cases, but yeah. But yeah. So, here's what you can do. So, let, let me just change relative to attachment zero. If we run the game, you will realize that uh, the force thingy is going to move to that direction. This part is going to move to that direction. See, it's going bye-bye. Sayonara. So, oh, it's moving. Okay, that's pretty far anyway. So yeah, that's in a nutshell what you can do. You can do pretty much fun things. You can also uh, add more forces and make your thing look really interesting, like this, for example. So uh, if we click on this, It's, well, it moved that to that direction. Yeah, but yeah, you can then make this pretty interesting, like, uh, let's delete this vector force right here. So, uh, yeah, it's going to point in this direction now. You can make pretty interesting things. Let me show you. Oh, wait, sorry. So, here are the interesting things I created. So, these things, again, I'm sure you remember, they are forces. These are vector forces so I created pretty interesting things so like this right here is um, a spring and this is a block that's attached to it that it's probably gonna fly up but would does anyone want to guess what will happen to this when I run to this and what will happen to this what will happen to these parts when I run the game let's see Ooh, this is something interesting Okay. Ooh. Oh no. See, this one's rotating. Uh, I should probably anchor the bottom. It's gonna keep flying. Yeah. So, this 
this right here is connected to a hinge, so it's moving a lot, but this one's moving way too fast. It's mo moving at a force of 2,000. No, that's spring gone! <laughs> yeah, so yes, like I said, you can create pretty interesting things. This right here is a, it's just sprung. Oh, wow. Look at that. So the force is trying to pull on this string, but this spring is also trying to prevent from the force to move. Uh, let me show you what I mean. So, like, if we in, unenable it, this is like its best position, but when we do enable it, it's like trying to get away from it. So, the other part just somehow went flying. So, I don't know where it went, but, um, yeah, cool. You can make pretty much a lot of interesting things. This is way too fast. We can probably uh change it. Uh if I can click on it. Okay, so uh Yeah. This is what you can do, so uh pretty interesting. So let's make sure this is not too fast by changing it to five hundred. Yeah, it's slower. We can change it to a hundred and it will be extremely slow. Okay, there.